to my channel, Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher, and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is Combined Operations on Integers. You can also watch my previous videos on the set of integers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of integers. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button and the red button so we can continue on uploading videos for you. Okay, for combined operations on integers, you always have to remember this rule. You have to perform the operations within each grouping starting with the innermost grouping. I'm going to show you that here. And also, number two, apply the PEMDAS or the GEMDAS. What is the PEMDAS or GEMDAS again? P stands for parentheses or groupings. Other schools use PEMDAS, other schools use GEMDAS. And then, do all the exponentials. E for E, then proceed with the multiplication and division. Then, when all multiplications and divisions are done, that's the time when you do the addition and subtraction. Let's take a look at problem number one. In problem number one, if you do it this way, negative 28 divided by 7 minus 2 times negative 9. Now, you can rewrite it as negative 28 divided by 7 plus minus 2 means plus negative 2 times negative 9. If you multiply this 2, get 18 and then add 7 minus 28 divided by 7. If you add this, you will end up with negative 28 divided by 35 and you see that this is wrong why is this wrong you violated PEMDAS you added these two first before division so that is wrong so remember to always apply PEMDAS or GEMDAS the order of operations let's do it now the right way so, apply GEMDAS or PEMDAS from left to right, whichever comes first. What comes first here? Division comes first. So, you apply division. Negative 28 divided by 7 is negative 4. Then, copy minus 2 times negative 9. This is confusing to students. If you're confused, you just rewrite it as negative 4 plus negative 2 times negative 9. Then, do you add? No, no, no. Remember, multiplication, division first before addition and subtraction. So, copy negative 4 and multiply these two first. You will have negative 2 times negative 9 is 18. And then that's the time when you add negative 4 plus 18 is positive 14. There, the final answer is positive 14. You will see that if you're going to add these two first, negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6 times negative 9. It will give you 9 times 6, 54. But the correct answer is positive 14. Now, with problem number two, there, I intentionally put here uh, groupings for you to apply the G or the P. Do these two first. You have negative 36. Why? This means negative 10 plus negative 26. So, like signs add, copy the sign, negative 36, divided by... 6 times, do the ones in the groupings first, 
Negative 2 times negative 9, 9 times 2 is 18. There. Now, what do we do? Do we do multiplication or division? Division first. Why? The rule is PEMDAS from left to right, whichever comes first. Division comes first. So, negative 36 divided by 6 is negative 6 times 18 there. So, let's multiply that here. 18 times negative 6, 8 times 6, 48, carry 4. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4, 10. So, that, and this is negative times positive is negative, 108. In example number 3, there is grouping within a grouping. That, that is what I mean by innermost grouping. So you do this, you, the operation inside the innermost grouping first. So copy 6, we have here 2 cube is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. So that will be 8 minus 3. Copy minus 5 equals. Then, 6 times 8 minus 3 is 5. Minus 5 equals. What do you observe here? 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, 6 times 0 is equal to 0. In the fourth example, I intentionally gave you something like this for you to remember what I taught you in my previous video. What is that? Let's take note of that again. Here, let me write it here. That when you have a negative base and the exponent is even, your answer will always be positive. Like for example, again, negative 1 raised to the 1,000. This is even, this is negative, the answer is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times 1, 1 times 1. Or negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 times negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. There. And if this, if the base is negative and your exponent is odd, we've learned in the previous video that our answer is negative. So let's apply it here. So, negative base, even exponent, negative 1 raised to 22, we get positive 1. Negative base, even exponent is positive. Minus, you retain the minus. Then, negative base, odd exponent, negative base, odd exponent, this is negative base, odd exponent, is negative 1. Then, what? What did we learn in my previous video? The negative of a negative or the opposite of a negative is positive 10. Then simplify it. We have 1 negative of a negative or opposite of a negative is positive 1 plus 10. It gives us positive 12. Let's move on to our fifth example. Problem number 5. We have here negative 2 cubed times negative 3 plus negative 2 times 3 squared all over negative 9 times negative 3 minus 7 times 3. So, here you see that these two are in a group. So, we have to simplify this first. Negative, negative 2 cubed Remember, is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. And when you have an odd exponent, the answer is always negative. There. So this one will give us negative 8 times negative 3. Okay, they are in group. Plus negative 2 times 3 squared is 3 times 3, 9. There. All over, negative 9 times negative 3 is positive 27. Minus 7 times 3 is 21. By the way, 
Why didn't multiply this two first and then multiply this two? Why didn't I subtract this to this? Because of again of the PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule. You do all the multiplication and division first before doing the addition and subtraction. Okay, then let's proceed. Negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. Plus negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 over 27 minus 21. So this is 24 plus negative 18. What is that? That is positive 6. Subtract, copy the sign of the bigger number. Over 27 minus 21 is 6. So we get 6 over 6. 1. There. Now, a while ago, I gave you so many examples about multiplication. Now, this time, let's have examples about, uh, let's say, division, where division is involved. What about if we have here negative 2 cubed divided by negative 8? What do you get? So we have here a negative 8 divided by a negative 8, this will also give us a positive 1. And if we, let's say, have here negative 8 and then proceed with positive negative 2 times, let's say, negative 1, then raise it to the third power, and then we group this again, and then we have here a plus 8. What do we have? So, in this case, you start here. So you have negative 2 cube or negative 8 divided by negative 8 plus negative 2 times negative 1 that gives you a positive 2 raised to the third and then plus 8. You see you can simultaneously do this. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2 cube because that is G groupings. And then at the same time you can do negative 2 cube which is E exponents. That's why I gave you this example. And then now, you have to do the revision first before addition. Simultaneously, 2 cubed. Negative 8 divided by negative 8 is positive 1. Plus, 2 cubed is 8. There, plus 8. Then this gives us a 9. Plus 8 is equal to 70. I'm glad I was of help to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. And always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you. Subscribe.